sweet honey and fiery chilies is such a great combination that I just want to use it on everything. I pair it with succulent shrimp. Roast the whole thing, you have dinner on the table in about 10 minutes. When I was developing this dish, it was coming along really well, but it just needed one more element. I was like, what does it need? What does it need? And a reader submitted the idea for grated fresh ginger, and it was perfect. It was just that pop of flavor, that little bit of extra brightness that just made the dish just come alive. So thank you, Jim. These days you can buy jars of hot honey in most large supermarkets, but all you have to do is take your favorite honey and mix in something spicy. You can add a little dash of cayenne, crushed chili flakes, anything to just, you know, spice it up. As a garnish for this dish, I just top it with some scallion and some thinly sliced jalapeno. Gives it a little extra heat and a little crunch. First, I wanna take the seeds and the veins out because the hot honey is already hot enough. And this is my favorite trick to do it. So I use the um, serrated tip of a grapefruit spoon, scrape out the seeds and the veins. It just does it really quickly and easily. I like to use extra large shrimp here. I think they're the plumpest, but if you can get smaller ones, medium or large will also work, or super giant ones, you just have to adjust the cooking time. Less time for smaller shrimp, more time for larger shrimp. So you wanna spread these out. And I'm just gonna dot the shrimp with butter because shrimp and butter is yummy. You could use oil, but why would you use oil when you could use butter? This is going into a 500 degree oven because shrimp like high heat. They firm up, but stay juicy inside. These shrimp cook so quickly that I'm not even gonna move. I'm just gonna stay right here and I'm just gonna do mountain pose for four minutes. Do I look serene? Shrimp! This is a great after work dish because it comes together so quickly. You can just serve it with a salad or I love it with sliced tomatoes or you just serve it with a little dipping sauce, maybe some flavored mayo or cocktail sauce and people will go nuts.